another thing that I personally pack My name is Siposami Sami if you'd like and welcome back to another episode of moving to China in today's episode I'm going to be answering all your questions about what to pack when you're moving to China I have got a lot of questions from you guys a lot of DMS a lot of people have approached me and asked me hey Sammy I'm coming to China this coming semester I'm coming to China in March can you help me what can I pack so that's what I'm gonna be answering in this video but before we do that guys you know the drill I need you guys to hit that subscribe button please subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure that you hit the little bell and turn on your post notifications so that you get a notification every time I post so without further ado we're gonna get right into this video okay guys so the first thing that I would say you should pack when you're coming to China is your high school notebooks depending on what course you're studying for example for me I'm a pharmacy student and pharmacy has a lot to do with like chemistry and yeah mostly chemistry and some biology as well and I also took calculus in my first semester and what I'll say is your first year is going to be a lot of revision of the stuff you did in high school so I would say it's best if you bring your notebooks I was so glad I did because it was easier for me to catch up it was easier for me to study because I could just refer to my notebook and you know because after you leave school you're gonna be rusty a little when it comes to your books so you're gonna need to refresh your memory and it's always best when you use your notes you know what I mean so I would say pack your notebooks depending on what course you're studying if you're coming to study medicine or pharmacy for example carry your organic chemistry notebook carry your calculus notebooks because you're gonna take calculus in your first semester the second thing on the what to pack list is medication now there are obviously hospitals and pharmacies in China but when you're coming here when you're new and you fall sick it's gonna be hard to walk into a pharmacy and tell them what you want first of all because there's a language barrier you can have a headache but you walk in a pharmacy you don't know what the medication is called and everything is in Chinese and sometimes the translation doesn't really I don't know how to put it but you can write in your translator and it will be hard for the pharmacist um, or the chemist to prescribe something for you or to give you that um, exact drug you're looking for so I would say it's better for you to bring your own medication from home that's what I do I bring usually I bring painkillers I carry some paracetamol I get really bad period pain as well so I bring Nurofen from home I bring ibuprofen bring some flu medication your flu mal, your syrup yeah medicine is here but also because you're coming here you're for you're a foreigner <laughs> so your body might not get accustomed to the medication here so easily so I would say it's best to bring your own medication from home if you have a special condition if you have yeah if you know you you get sick or whatever just make sure you bring your own medication from home the third thing on my list is your clothes you need to bring your clothes. Let me tell you a funny story, yeah? So when I was coming to China, I was told, you know what? Things are so cheap in China. You don't need to carry any clothes. I came here with literally three pairs of clothes. <sighs> That's it. That's all I brought. And <sighs> your guys. It was a struggle. I mean, clothes are cheap. But when you're, when you're coming here, when you're new, there's a lot that you have to do in your first days. You're going to need to... You're gonna need to start processing your your residence permit. You're gonna need to pay for your health insurance. You're gonna be spending a lot on like taxis going up and down or like subway or whatever. It's you're just gonna have a lot in your first days, and the, you're not gonna spend your money first to go shopping. So I would say bring your clothes, especially your favorite uh, your favorite pieces of clothing. Don't bring a lot of clothes though, because you're gonna notice that with time. Once you settle, you're gonna start shopping. <laughs> China is heaven for shopping. <laughs> so you're gonna start shopping, you're gonna start buying a lot of things. At the end of the day, you're just gonna have a lot of unnecessary stuff. 
So I would say when you pack your clothes, bring mostly your favorite pieces of clothing. And on that point, make sure you, you so you carry your clothes, you carry your underwear, stuff um, that you're gonna be uh, stuff that you're gonna be using. You need to bring winter clothes. Now, if you're coming from a place like Africa, and I was coming from Zimbabwe, the weather is very different. It gets really cold here in winter, guys. Like it's cold, and especially if you're gonna move up north, it snows so badly, and it's uh, it, it's cold. When you're new, you're gonna, of course, you're gonna start buying coats and what, what, but Chinese weather also just changes drastically. And I know most freshmen, most of you guys will be coming in October and the weather starts changing. So it's best if you have, carry a few polo necks. If you have at least just one or two big coats that you can carry, you need to carry that as well. With time, like I said, you're gonna shop, you're gonna revamp your wardrobe, you're gonna add more clothes, but just carry at least two or three jerseys and at least one or two coats. For ladies, now this is for all the tall ladies like me, carry your jeans. I would say carry jeans from home because, hmm, honey, it is a struggle, a struggle to get jeans in China, especially if you're a tall lady. Now, Chinese people are generally short, especially the Chinese women. So if you buy jeans online, most of them will probably reach just your ankle. You, it's very hard to find jeans that, like just above your ankle, you know, it's very hard to find very long jeans. I'm going to leave a small... I'm gonna leave a video here to show you what I mean, but I would say bring jeans from home. You can buy them here because it's H&M, there's Forever 21, there's some international shops, but just bring your favorite jeans because it's gonna be hard to find those exact jeans here in China. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to toiletries. To be honest, toiletries were on my what not to pack list. But um, there's one YouTuber, her name is Rosina. I'm gonna leave her channel link on the cards above. But she did a video and she mentioned packing toiletries like lotion and all that stuff. And I remember talking to her, I'm like, but why do you need to carry, you know, that stuff? You can get it here. And she explained to me that she lives in a small city and unfortunately in her city, you know, they, they don't have the international, they don't have Walmart, they don't have Sephora, they don't have Metro, all of that. Mm -hmm. So I would say you need to pack some toiletries, especially even if you're moving to a big city, bring at least a month's supply of toiletries. So at least if you bring a bottle of lotion, if you bring a bottle of shower gel and your toothpaste, your mm -hmm. facials, your soap, you know, just for at least a month's supply. Because once you get here, it does take a bit of time to actually settle down and figure out everything, figure out where to shop, figure out all of that. Which is why I'm also here to help you through that process of settling down. I'll probably make a separate video on like how to get your way around Taobao. Taobao is like the shopping app, the online shop here in China. I'll probably make a separate video on like just tell you guys how you can get around that and what shops you need to buy what stuff and all of that but i would say pack at least a month's worth of toiletries don't worry too much most of the things you're gonna find them here there's everything all international brands for lotion for example like nivea vaseline all of that you're gonna get it here shower gel lux um, dove all of that you're gonna get it here online or you can shop we have watson's we have Walmart, we have Metro, like I said. But if you have a certain type of lotion or a certain type of product that you really like, then obviously you have to bring it from home. For example, for me, I love like these kind of lotions. I don't know if you can see, but like this is a lotion by Yardley. I can't get this here even online because it smells smells really nice or like hoity toity or whatever like favorite brand of lotion or cosmetic that you like it's best to bring it from home because it will be hard to find this kind of lotion here and as for Chinese kind of stuff Chinese lotion is a bit light it's too well, how can I say it Ooh, the English bundles <laughs> but anyway um it, it doesn't you can put lotion like Chinese lotion on your body but after a few hours you're gonna start getting white if that makes sense and also Chinese people like um, brightening products like whitening kind of products so a lot of their products are like for whitening and I personally don't like them so yeah I would say if you have a favorite thing that you like that's from home then you need to bring that so speaking of skincare I'm gonna speak to all my women of color especially my black girls 
if you wear makeup you have to bring your makeup from home now we have like I said there's Sephora and there's Taobao but in Chinese stores they don't sell makeup for black skin so like for me I bring my makeup to my Julius Place foundation concealer and also my face powder make sure you bring your makeup from home especially when it comes to like foundation and concealer and face powder like brown stuff for your skin if you're a black girl make sure you bring this from home because you will not get these here the products that are here usually they fake honey they are fake like they do make they're making Fenty Beauty foundation they're making all these brands like Laura Mercier all of these they're making them but they're fake it's not the real thing for example on WeChat I know people who sell foundation for like 30 yuan that's like five dollars like where will you buy Fenty Beauty foundation for five dollars so yeah bring your foundation from home but if you don't mind using um if you don't mind using the fake stuff and if your skin is resilient to like fake stuff and you're not gonna break out or whatever then don't worry you can get all of that here but stuff like mm -hmm. eyeshadow and um, mm -hmm. setting spray and all of that you can get that here you don't need to worry about that but when it comes to stuff like foundation and face powder you need to bring that from home and then we're gonna move on to hair care um i would say bring especially if your if your hair is not natural if you relax your hair you need to bring your own relaxer because you will not find relaxer here because obviously our hair is different from like chinese people's hair and so it's very hard to get um products for black hair like 4c type hair or black hair basically here so i would say you need to bring um your hair relaxer from from home and if you have any um special hair food especially the hair food is really hard to get here that's another thing you need to bring your own hair food from home but stuff like essential oils coconut oil argan oil that stuff i've seen here online on taobao so you don't need to worry about that but if you have like um hair food like that's specifically from home that you use and also you need to bring relaxer for the guys um i did ask my friend today and he said that you should bring your shaving kit especially if you like if you cut your hair you need to bring your own um what do you call that the shaver <laughs> you need to bring because then you can get your hair cut in a chinese salon but it's obviously not the kind that black men for example usually like so you can bring your own if you can cut your own hair or if you have a friend i'm not sure if you can get it online i'm sure you can but if you can bring your own just bring your own but in terms of um shaving like your beard and all of that you can get all of that online so you don't need to worry and then we're gonna move on to food my favorite <laughs> just make sure you bring um all like favorite all your favorite food if that makes sense obviously you can't pack all like for me for example i pack meal milk because honey i love my salsa okay <laughs> that is like the staple food in zimbabwe so i brought my mealy meal for me to make my salsa i brought some biltong but not a lot because if you carry a lot like food will go bad so yeah, I bought um, some mealy meal for my sadza. I bought some biltong. I bought um, some cerevita. That's like a cereal that we eat in Zim. Just a few packs. Um, I brought some snacks, like my favorite snacks. I brought some maputi and my, some some crisps that I like from back home. Like some of these days, you just want to eat something that's going to remind you of home. So yeah, just, what I'll say is just carry like your favorite snacks, just a few packs your favorite you know your favorite food that you can carry that's not too heavy you can bring that but the most important thing i will tell you to pack are spices now you're gonna figure out that you're gonna like for me for example of course i eat out i love chinese food i eat almost everything uh, i eat almost every chinese dish but i mostly cook at home so because i stay i live off campus i have my own place i cook at home on a daily basis and here in china it's very hard to find um the spices that you're used to back home so obviously it differs from wherever you come from we all cook differently the way we cook food in zimbabwe is different from the way people from rwanda cook their food for example or people from uganda or wherever you're coming from so it's always best to bring spices that you're familiar with so that you can make your 
daily meals something that you're used to you know you can cook something that you're familiar with and something that you like so I for one pack a lot of spices because I also love to cook and I cook on a daily basis so I carried a lot of spices the next thing is I will tell you guys to pack all your small things like all your small favorite things that remind you of home and what I mean is like souvenirs pictures albums you know that sort of thing that just reminds you of your friends your family from back home for example i brought this this is a this is a souvenir it's like a map of my country it's wood so i just hang it on my wall and it's just something that i love and just reminds me of home i also bring um some african material cloth so if you have like traditional clothes that you have or like a traditional cloth or whatever something just something small that can you can look at and just remind you of home whenever you're feeling low or you're feeling homesick i would definitely tell you to bring that and as for traditional clothes you will definitely need those because in most in most universities you're gonna have what is called the international students day where different or like a cultural festival kind of thing where different um uh, countries like students from different countries you're going to be required to present something um pertaining to your country and just show the chinese people what you know what your country is all about and whatever so they'll require you to like dress up in your country's um traditional clothes yeah so bring bring some traditional clothes if you're african bring some size some um african materials if you're indian bring your nice saris and yeah Another thing that I personally pack is a mochairo. Now this is a grass broom. This is what we use back in my country to like sweep or whatever. Honestly, you don't necessarily need this. You don't because we have brooms here. Obviously, we have brooms. We have all the cleaning equipment that you may need. But personally, I I just love my mochairo. I just feel like it really does the job. Like. I feel like sometimes when I use a broom, it doesn't really get into those corners and crevices, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just love to use my mchairo and it just reminds me of home, you know, just seeing it over there by the corner just reminds me of home, reminds me of my mom, so I love this. So if you're a girl like me, you will really appreciate having a mchairo in your place. The last but also the very most important, I actually think I should have said this first, if you're a Christian, you need to bring your Bible. You will not, they don't sell Bibles on online on Taobao, unfortunately. So you need to bring your Bible. There are devotional books though. I bought one online, but it's very, very hard to find Christian books online. But especially your Bible. I know you can have your Bible on your phone, on your iPad or whatever, but it's different from having like a physical Bible for me personally. So I will say, pack your Bible. First thing you should pack is actually your Bible. The last thing I'm gonna tell you guys is when you move here, you're basically starting a new life. You're gonna meet different people, you're gonna have different friends, you're gonna have new experiences. It's just gonna be a whole new thing, but you have to adapt. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're packing, you obviously can't pack everything. You can't pack your whole life into your suitcase. Try and not pack too much because obviously you're gonna have a limit at the airport try and pack just what you need don't pack too much i've mentioned all these things but just make sure you carry the most important and you have to adapt like especially for like food i would say don't carry too much just small things like i said if you're carrying snacks just carry it two or three packs you know with time you're gonna eat it and it's gonna finish obviously but that's how you grow you need to adapt once you get here try out things i'll encourage you guys to be adventurous try out things i will tell you that when I came, I had the perception that, oh my gosh, China, I'm not going to survive. Chinese people eat weird food, Chinese people, this. I had so many negative perceptions. But I'm so glad that one of the very first friends I made when I came here was an adventurous person. And she always pushed me to like try out new things. And I can tell you that that's probably the best thing you can do for yourself. You need to get out of your comfort zone. You're in a new place. You need to adapt, honey. You need to. So try out things. Don't be scared. Try out different things foods try out you know that's the reason why you came all this way in the first place you can't expect to come all this way only for you to just be stuck in your country's mentality or just eating your country's food or just doing whatever it is you are doing back home you're in a new place you're bound to grow you have to adapt that's what i'll say for you guys and we've come to the end of our video 
thank you so much for watching i hope i've covered well that's for me that's what i pack that's what i pack when i come to china and i'm sure you guys can take away one or two things if you're in china and you have something you want to add or something that you pack when you come from home please leave it in the comment section below and if you have any more questions pertaining to what i've said again do not hesitate to leave your comments down in the comment section below let me know if any more videos you want you want me to make i'm also going to make a separate video on what not to pack because sometimes you can carry so many unnecessary things and i'm going to tell you guys what not to pack and what you can find here so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video i love you bye